Hi everyone, I am Bindeshwar from Post Network Academy and in this video you will know about random variable and distribution function. So let's get started. Consider a random experiment in which you are tossing three coins. So the possible outcomes you will get which are here. So these possible outcomes you will get three heads, two heads, one tail, two heads, one tail again and so on. Here in the last you can see that three tails and zero heads. So there S is sample space H is occurrence of head and T is occurrence of tail. Now uh, let us understand what is a random variable. So random variable is a function from the sample space S into the set of real numbers. So, random variable is a function from simple space S to set of real numbers where Rx denotes set of real numbers which is a range of x. Now, to understand random variable, let us define a random variable which is the number of heads. And here, small s denotes an event in the sample space s. Now, see that here. If you define random number x as number of hits, so what you will get? You will get the following outcomes. So x triple h, so 3. x 2h and 1 tail, so 2. x 2h, 2. x again 2h, 2. 1h1 1 1. x again 2 uh, single h again single h 1 there is no h 0 so this way random variable x is quantifying sample space and uh, what you will get is rx so in Rx set you will get 0, 1, 2 and 3 because see that here there are 3 H so that one 3 2 H 2 H 2 H 3 so just I am uh, trying to map it here and this 3 with 2 here and these three only one h and here zero h so you can see that these are the range of x s so you can see that a random variable is used to quantify sample space. Now, see again. Uh, 
to understand probability mass function you should know that what is the probability mass function so probability mass function a distribution function of random variable x is defined from rx to r where rx i explained that this is a set in which there are four elements not four here but rx 0 1 2 and 3 so rx to r that means r is set of real numbers defined by fx probability of event x so let us see that what you will get so you will get this one so f0 you will get 1 upon 8 and here px 0 means probability that there is a zero heads because you have defined random variable is number of heads so x is equal to 0 means probability px is equal to 0 means probability of x where there are no heads so you can see that only one event is there so probability out of 8 there is only one event so probability would be 1 upon 8 second one p1 so there is one head so you will see that there are three events 1 2 and 3 out of it there are three events so f1 would be or px is equal to 1 would be 3 upon 8 now f2 or p g p x is equal to 2 would be 3 upon 8 because there are three three events in which there are two heads so probability would be 3 upon 8 third one f3 or p x is equal to 3 that means probability of having three heads so that is g because there is only one event so out of 10 so probability would be 1 upon 8 now this probability mass function fx has two properties see that the first property that it must be equal to or greater than 0 so second one is sum of all probability should be equal to 1 so see that how f so sum of all second second one is that sum of all probabilities should be equal to 1 so see that here f what does it mean f0 plus f1 plus f2 plus f3 that is 1 upon 8 plus 1 upon not 1 3 upon 8 plus 3 upon 8 plus 1 upon 8 that is 1 so a probability mass function has two probabilities so this was about a random variable and probability mass function hope you have understood in the upcoming videos i will make videos on more about random variable its expectation variance and various probability distribution functions so thanks for watching this video